had just talked to the guard at the gate who had given you some torches and I believe some supplies and I think you had all said that you had nothing left you wanted to do before you left town to try and find these goblins but obviously you are still in town and it is your game so if you have other things to do go for it I think we have to decorate some eggs because we did get paint <laughs> and we were gonna decorate eggs <laughs> oh yeah arts and craft mm -hmm. time <laughs> I'm down they're gonna love my drawing I was gonna say how, like how are we divvying this up is this gonna be like everybody takes a couple of eggs and we all decorate them however we want do we have any reference books that... Because, okay, so if memory serves, and I have a doodle memory, so bear with me. We were going to try and make the eggs look like dragon eggs or some kind of exotic creature eggs to fool the right. goblins with. Right. That was the idea. However, yeah. I think some of us who don't have giant sausage elephant fingers will be better at painting than others. So if we perhaps wanted to make it more convincing, I think we should give them all to the best painter in the group. Or if we all just want to have fun with it, we each paint our own and then come back at the end. How many eggs do we have? Forty. Forty eggs! Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, give or take. <laughs> so we can each do like ten eggs. All right, and I'll just reach into the knapsack and start divvying out the egg. I'll, I'll you get an egg, take... and you get an egg. Look under I'll your chairs. Take... <laughs> <laughs> so, Reap just painting all? Well, I mean, we can still eat them, right? Right. Yeah, I guess so. All right, so... Have... Uh, Is this paint like only... Only <laughs> take like five, because I don't want to. I'm gonna really take my time with these ones. I don't want to slow everybody down. Alright. So does anyone have, like, a reference book of any type of exotic eggs? And are you actually gonna make me paint? <laughs> I mean, like, I've seen, like, bird's eggs and stuff, dude. I mean, like... Are those exotic? Like, they're definitely beautiful. Like, don't get me wrong, dude. It's just... I don't know, maybe not exactly what we're after. I don't know. Goblins are dumb, right? We could probably... We can spin on a goblin. Let's do it. Yeah, just yeah, throw some glitter on it and, you know. Yeah, we probably just, like, need to make them look weird rather than accurate to a dragon or anything in particular. I just looked at the map. <laughs> oh, <know>. wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. Y'all are decorating some fucking eggs. <laughs> Let's do this. <laughs> wait, wait. I can actually make this better. Um... Oh, no. I doubt that. Those are the smallest eggs I have ever seen. Are you talking to me? Yes. No. Let me just zoom in. Oh, well, 250%. no, it's, it's to scale. Am I not drawing like five of them? That's perfect. I mean, we can do, I can, I can just copy that shape if you'd like, and then everyone can decorate multiple, but I figured one would suffice. One will suffice, thank one you. One will suffice. I was actually going, if you made me eat, like, like do a bunch, I was going to eat, like, nine of them, and then... <laughs> <laughs> Keep the best one. All right, here we go. We're back in this hidden class. Why don't you have any paste left? I ate it. <laughs> I was My insides are sticky. What, uh, what colors did we get to paint with? I think we got reds, blue, and, and a gray. And a gray, yeah. Gray, what, a, what an awesome color. I definitely remember yeah, red and blue. I hope you wrote it down, because... Hey, I didn't. Um, someone just mentioning paints made me remember this whole thing like a bad dream. I uh, thought he was red, blue, and gray. Ew. I thought he was kidding about the eggs. He wasn't kidding. Yeah, we're doing good things up here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm focusing on mine specifically to keep the surprise of everyone else's. Oh. <laughs> Did you not say anything? By the way, do we have like a time limit? Or are we just going until we all feel satisfied? Um, I will I, I will start a timer for a few minutes here. Yeah, I'll try to make mine fairly. Oh no. Fairly oh, no. what? Mine's terrifying. <laughs> Sorry, I uh, I got distracted. Uh, I'll try to make mine pretty quick. It just kind of stinks because the... <laughs> and everyone. 
You'll see it, it eventually. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm in the zone. I'm feeling it. Jesus. Yes? My child? <laughs> That's good enough. Shoot. Ah, uh, the DM special. Eh, good enough. <laughs> Crap. Bro, are you serious right now? Are you guys actually trying? I'm just doing squeakly lights. Of course They're I'm trying. actually trying. What's wrong with you? Oh, what, am I, what am I, a chump? Oh, come on! Some of your opponents are committed. <laughs> yeah, some of them. <laughs> and then there's mine. <laughs> it's just like blotchy and sad. Two minute warning. I mean, totally beautiful and exotic. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I just started the intricate bit of mine. Me too. I mean, if you guys are having fun with it, I can gladly extend the no. timer. <laughs> no. We're here for fun, after all. No, I'm not going to subject everybody to that if they don't want to. I'm just going to draw the one, the most perfect dragon-like egg on the planet. Oh, fuck! How did I... to live with their mediocrity. <laughs> Bam! Okay. I mean, I live with mediocrity every day. I'm going somewhere. I mean, me too. I'm, that's why I'm trying to spice it up. Oh... I just found a way to make mine even better. I'm so excited to see your egg. You shouldn't be. <laughs> I'm gonna give you that one for free. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. One minute. Ah! <laughs> okay, it's really coming along. Sorry about mine, I don't have time to shade it or make it to scale. It's like you're making it very to scales. Command Z. Oh. Fuck. What are you doing? The you ultimate away all my secrets? The ultimate creative tool, Command Z, it doesn't work. 30 seconds. Crap. Yeah, you kinda just have to click on there and hope you get the one blob you would have the Yeah, blob. I mean total piece Shit. of fire. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Eh. Perfect. Fucking hell. Four, it's gorgeous. Three, two. Panic! One. Pencil's down. My pencil's down. Oh, this is stress. All right, everybody zoom out and make sure you can see everybody's eggs. I said pencil's down, pal, dude. My pencils are down. I'm not using the pen tool, I'm using the <laughs> alt arrows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, we actually tried. Other people are trying? You guys actually tried! <laughs> I love yours, Felix! Oh, man! Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man, I feel bad now. <laughs> I was gonna do that typing thing, too! And I'm like, oh, I'll just throw color out there. Oh, my God, it's incredible! Fucking trick and egg! <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Oh my I, God, feel like, I, I feel I like that <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I just want to say I'm glad someone else was actually trying. <laughs> I'm really glad we had three colors. All of my, <laughs> oh my God. I did too. I was just using the three. I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> you, you, all stuck, you all stuck to the you know the <clears throat> the intent of the the challenge quite well. We really didn't. <laughs> I see. I, I very much did not. So, uh, I took the creative liberty of mixing the blue and the red to end up with this purple color. Uh, I, give, I give you props for that. Baldoon, I'm glad that you tried. <laughs> <laughs> We're sick. Yours looks delicious. <laughs> Thank and you. Wit, that's a very intricate design. Turns out painting eggs is a lot different than calligraphy. <laughs> like, it isn't really, dude. It, I mean, it's it's basically the same, from my understanding. <laughs> <laughs> For real? 
You should have put 100% real, organic, cage-free, grass-fed. I didn't have the time. It took me three minutes to write dragon egg re, and then time was up, and the A-L up, uh, parenthesis was after time was up. Oh my god, it's incredible. Uh, <laughs> I'm really well, glad I did that. Well, now that you've all an egg, you can discuss them amongst yourselves and decide <laughs> what you're going to do with each of them. I mean, we might as well present all of them. <laughs> do we really have to, dude? I feel like... Yeah, but, I mean, what are the odds that... Uh, we might as well cover all our bases. I feel like we have a good spectrum of eggs here. But, what well, one of them's bound to work. Well, here's a question, dude. Do we think we'll have more than one chance at the goblins to fool them with a dragon egg? Or is it like, uh, once they discover it once, they won't fall for it again kind of a deal? Uh, I suppose that's a good point. I don't know. If we're going for authenticity, I, I hate to toot my own trunk here, but I feel like mine might be the most authentic. Uh, followed closely by Faldoon. I mean, my rationale is like, goblins are like, like really <laughs> stupid, so maybe they just won't notice. Maybe they'll buy it. Maybe they'll be like, one of these dudes is, like, so trustworthy, they wouldn't lie to me. Even, like, with an egg. Every time I look at it, it gets funnier. <laughs> well, you know what, we'll, we'll, we'll clear, we'll cross that bridge when the time comes, I suppose. At least, at least we got four, at least we got three really good options. Alright, easy. Go team. Um, we may want to, like, get there first. At that point, it seems like, now that we got the painting down pat, it seems like, you know, the actual adventure part will have to happen at some point. That works for me. I don't know, this could just become a D&D campaign about your <laughs> art careers. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, I need to color 20 more eggs by tomorrow or, tomorrow, or else the Duke will put me in jail. <laughs> <laughs> Each one better be better than the last. <laughs> the next uh, campaign, we're going to be pulling off an art heist. We're going to make the perfect forgery, they'll never notice. So it's come to this. <laughs> Alright, Orsic, I have to say yours is my favorite. Oh, thank you! I couldn't find the build button, if you can't tell, so I just went to coloring mode. Uh, there is no... I mean, I like the white space. I failed third grade, uh, coloring in between the lines. <laughs> well, we all have our talents. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let me move you back over here. I'm gonna go ahead and label this map eggs. This <laughs> map. I knew those eggs would come in handy. So... You now have, you each have your decorated dragon's egg in your inventory. Uh, Does I'm actually gonna, anything else? I'm actually gonna Go give ahead. my egg back to Orsic, just because he's the one with, like, the egg crate. I figure they're probably safest in there. That's probably not a bad idea. I think I'll do the same. Yeah, get it in a safety crate. Just because I, I feel like storing the egg between, like, a spear and a couple of torches may not be the safest. The bloody a... barrel is a safe place. That's a good point. Did we... Do we still have that meat? Oh, yeah, we divvied it up between all of us. Here's perhaps the least important question ever in this campaign. What did we do with the barrel? Buddy barrel? Yeah. Orsic's still carrying it around with him. Yeah, I, I have the buddy barrel with me. Okay. Uh, and I believe it was safely stored at the inn while we were escapating. And I'm fairly certain all of the meat that we have not yet eaten is still in the barrel. I remember divvying it out at one point because we didn't want to bring the barrel itself. I think we're going to leave the barrel there, and I thought I divvied it out and everybody got three days of rations. I think that's Ah, what yes, that's what it was. I think we all got. I know I wrote it down. Four days of rations? To the inventory. 
Everybody surely wrote it down. I yeah. have three salted pork rations. Oh. Yeah. Oh, three. In I addition to break. five standard boring ass rations. I put a description of thanks, buddy barrel, next to it. <laughs> Damn, all right, I suck. Yeah, three what? insulted pork rations, and then I got ten extra in my dungeoneering pack. Damn. Oh, this. Hmm. Ration right. rich. How very rational of you. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, how many did we get from the buddy barrel? Three days worth Three. Of three. Okay, I, I think I only wrote down one for some. Ooh, ooh, Damn. ooh, I just remembered. Uh, wow, congratulations. Didn't we go to the apothecary uh, earlier at some point? Because I remember Orsic had something he wanted to give the apothecary. And I also had like that spider. Mr. Gland. Potions? Yeah, you sold that like second episode. I did I sold it and part of the deal of me selling it was he was going to make a potion with that and then oh. give me the potion. So before we leave, I do have a stock. That's right. I have I had forgotten about that. Uh Away. He counters with uh, eight silvers and a dose of spider venom antidote. Uh, he says he'll have it ready by tomorrow, which meant I think actually yesterday. But we were, you know, a little busy yesterday. That sounds accurate. So you head back over to the potion shop, go in and ask the guy for your spider venom antidote, I guess. Yeah. Uh, hey, dude, like, uh, remember me? You know, spider venom gland guy? Oh, yes, of, of course, of course. I I think I have your antidote right here. And he turns around to a counter behind him that's, that's full of bottles of various sizes with liquids of strange colors in it. In the And he picks up one and looks at it. And then he puts it back down. He picks up another. And he picks up a third and he looks at both of those together and kind of shakes one, puts it down and picks up another. And then turns. Here it is. This one should be yours. Holy! Like, thank you so much, dude. I'm really glad uh, that spider thing went to good use. Yes, we. I've got much good use out of it, and I, I appreciate you bringing it in. If you come up with anything else like that, please let me know. <laughs> of course, dude. No worries. You'll be my first stop. Unfortunately, uh, me and my dude companions we gotta like skip town for a couple days. Uh, like, who knows? Maybe uh, we'll find something there. No, oh, I, I wish you the best. Yeah. Hey, right. see you later, dude. Boosh, and I uh, leave to join my companions. Welcome back. And now, I have to... to write down the notes of what's happened, because I've been lazy about it. Basically, the session's been excellent so far. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Barely really any yolks. <laughs> yes, no yolks were made at anyone's expense. <laughs> nope. One of my coworkers is named Doug, and um, one of nice. our one of our Indian uh, co coworkers sent him an email and accidentally typed dough like red dough. Oof. <laughs> And he posted in our group chat, like, come on, seriously? It's right there in the in my, you know, in my email address. So that, of course, started the jokes. You know, he's probably just trying to get a rise out of you. <laughs> <laughs> you should just roll with it. At least it was close enough. Uh, yeah. I, I think, uh, actually, someone has, uh, the same guy has called someone baby before in a chat message. So I gave him the, at least he didn't call you baby. <laughs> oh. Oh. It was, it was very punny. All right. Is that it? Is everybody totally ready to meander out into the totally safe and not dangerous at all wilderness? Um, mm -hmm. yep. Orsic has been born for it. You mean but 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 born for exactly. it? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you headed towards the gate? Sure. Onward. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Go for it. All right. 
as you reach the gate, uh, the captain of the guard, his name I wrote down and is totally Manel, um, sees you coming and comes out of the watchtower. Ah, ready to head out, I see. Nope. Aye. Right. Well, stick together, keep those torches lit, and whatever you do, don't go into the mist without light. I, uh, I'm holding a lit torch aloft as we speak. Question to Felix, lit Question. or like with the light spell? Yes. Yes, oh, to both. Um, like an actual fire flame. I was going to ask, is it just a torch that's like totally lit, man? Yeah, it's dope. <laughs> that, that, at first, that's <laughs> what I thought he was going for. That's why I said yes to both. <laughs> Um, but then he actually provided an actual question, so I figured... I don't know why you thought I wasn't taking that seriously. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. After your dragon egg, you're you're the spinning image of Sirius. <laughs> why is this here? Well, in the case, Godspeed to you all. I, I wish you luck on your mission, and I hope that we see you soon. You too. And then I walk away, like, social, as socially awkwardly as humanly possible. You know, as when you're someone's doing, like, yeah. As you're doing that, okay. uh, two of the guards are lifting the bar from the inside of the gate and swinging one side of the gate open four or five feet so you all can step outside. Freedom! All right. I get to step it. Alright, into Uncertain Doom we go. Yeah, I'll go ahead and, and light one of my torches right now. Just in case. Mr. Uh, Social Awkward over there doesn't fill me with a lot of confidence. <laughs> so, I'm, I'm like the textbook definition of confidence. <laughs> <laughs> so, you step out of the gate and... Um, immediately around the wall, obviously, the area is still fairly brightly lit by the torches up on top, but 15 or 20 feet out away from the wall, there's just this ominous wall of fog that stretches up over your heads. It seems to kind of seethe and eddy and pulse as if things are moving just beyond it. Sketchy. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this is, uh, pretty creepy. Fun. Okay, let's get this done. <laughs> Onward, then. Yep. So, the road obviously heads into the fog, and I don't know if we specifically discussed this, but I'm gonna go out on the limb and say that the guy that told you about the goblins would have given you directions. I uh, certainly hope so. I assume so. We're just gonna bumble around in the mist till we fight <laughs> goblins. We reach the goblins any day. Somewhere. <laughs> All right, here we go. What are you guys doing out here? Just we're gonna find the goblins. Which yeah. goblins? <laughs> I don't know. Somewhere. The ones to the east. Wherever the winds takes me. We're gonna circle <laughs> the globe four times, just going east. So, um, the road heads into the mist, and as you. As you approach that wall of mist, it kind of gently gives way in front of you, um, parting so the to get out of the way of the light from your torches. Uh, how many of you have torches lit now? I do. I do. I think we said the two. Okay. So those torches make a bubble around you, maybe 15-ish feet across, that the fog, uh, at least the thickest parts of the fog, don't enter, but a a, a very thin dare I say, normal-looking mist sometimes drifts through um, harmlessly. So, so as you how, said, how do we want to physically order our bodies as we're walking? Do we want it to be, like, one big clump? Or do we want it to be, like, two different pods of two, each with one torch? What we could or, do, like, a three-in-one kind of scenario? What we could do, just to, like, maximize the amount of light we have, is we could arrange us in, like, a square... And, like, opposite corners could have a torch. So, like, the front right and, like, the back left. Oh, I see. 
I think that would work. And then if we just stay like close together, everyone will be at least surrounded a little bit by a torch. All right, I like that idea. You have your mist, buddy. <laughs> stay with your mist, buddy. So, so as you so almost. Well, I can't move my guy, but like if I was here, that's sort of the formation we're taking up. Yeah, dude, like that. Yeah, like something like that. All right. Um, I don't mind leading. Just want and one, then, like, one torch in the front and one in the back. Yeah, so if you and I switch positions, that makes sense. Or if you and Faldoon. Either way. Yeah. You'll do. Yeah. I don't have control if I can't. I can't move. Oh, yeah, but I did draw a line. I like how I have control Perfect. over Logan's character. Oh no, I'll think right. happening. Oh god, oh, lightning bolt. <laughs> oh god. The blue is growing. <laughs> Are you sure it was ink that they sold us? <laughs> this dimensional pool <laughs> Dude, this is some great LSD, man. <laughs> Don't ask me how right, I knew that. I fixed the character control issue. No idea how it got set wrong. Yeah, I don't either. Oh, free. Yay! Alright. So, you, you enter the bank of fog, and as you step forward, it closes in behind you, um, enveloping you in what seems to be just an endless bubble of mist and fog. Um, within 50 yards, the sounds of the town behind you completely fade. And the only thing you can hear is the sounds of your own footsteps scuffing down the road, echoing gently back at you from out of the fog. We are following, like, a road, yes? It's not yeah. just like us swathing into the wilderness. Like, if we needed to, we could get back to the city just by following the road. Yes, you are on a road. So I guess we should, I, I guess we should, uh, we should cover this then actually. That's fair. Uh, hang on, let me see. What'd I say? Just to get him to the east. Uh, travel to the east, yep. So we're going to say that you left by the east gate. And uh, the guy told you to follow the road. Till you see, uh, let's see. There, those are the directions he gave you. That's simple enough. Okay. Easy. And you know that it's roughly a day's worth of travel. Okay. So, <clears throat> you head into the mist, uh, walking down the road. Only thing you can hear is your the sound of your own feet echoing back at you from the fog. Um, torches last an hour, is what we decided. And there will also be, uh, just for the sake of convenience, there will also be rolls on my part every hour. So, I will have you take torches off of your inventory as we use them. Okay. Sounds good. Understandable. Just a sec, guys. I'll be right back. All right. So, like, I just want to point out. <laughs> I uh, correct me if I'm wrong. I think one of us here is in the creative field professionally, and they drew by far the shittiest egg. Shittiest. I mean, that was a real dragon's <laughs> egg. I mean, I mean, it was. No. <laughs> I really had to reach back to my fuck Elish Norn days. Logan will know what that means. See, that's what all the... That's what all the comedians do. They just steal jokes from their past selves and repackage it to fit the situation. Dragon egg real. Man, I'm funny. Here, here's a question for, I guess, the three of you, because Adam's not here. How does it know... Like, how does it feel knowing the funniest person ever born? Like, I assume it's pretty it's cool. Easy. Did you have to um, ask that while I wasn't here just because it's me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. So, um, you guys continue traveling down the road. Um, aside from walking with torches, someone please shout it out if you decide to do anything other than just walking or if you have conversations that you want to have or w whatever. 
I don't I don't want to turn your journey into just like you know, 73 rolls of boringness with a random mm -hmm. encounter thrown in the middle if you guys have other stuff you want to add to it. Uh, not to add to the number of rolls that may have to be made, but are we also looking for the herbs uh, for the healing down? Yeah. I figure we do sure. it along the way, yeah. Alright, so... Okay. If you... If you're walking right along the road... It's a little tougher because obviously things right along the road aren't uh, aren't quite as thick. Those herbs would probably be more back in the trees. But uh, I guess if you walked along like the side of the road, there's a small chance that you might be able to find some of the stuff you're looking for with with good survival checks. Okay. Uh, if it like if I had to decide, and I would probably tell this to the rest of the group, like <laughs> dudes, like if it comes down to either we have to look out for the herbs or we have to get to where we're going safely. Uh, sorry to the healer, do that. But like... Yeah. My vote is safe. Uh, yeah, I'm... Also, we'll be on a trail. We might find some on the way to the cave. Yeah, I, t I tend to agree. Okay. Uh, Worsic is kind of distracted because he misses his eggs. So he's just kind of like... Staring off into space. Do you not still have the eggs? Um. Well, I don't want to eat them, but I do want to eat them. You know what? I mean? uh, ah. Okay. Oh, cool. eat them, oh, but cool, I want to eat them, and yeah, it's a it's a conundrum. I'm so sorry for your predicament. You want to eat your eggs and <laughs> still have them too. Tart. So, if you guys do want to search for herbs or something like that, I'll do a roll on my side to decide if they're in the area, and you can do a roll on your side to see if you find them. So. Oh, sweet. Okay. So, yeah, you you may roll a nat 20, but if I rolled that there aren't any there, that's that'll still, unfortunately, result in a failure. But I feel like that, you know, I feel like that's fairly accurate, because you can search really well and not find anything. Yeah. Right. That would be the one time I roll a nat 20. Right. <laughs> That'll be the one time you roll above, like, a six. Actually, you don't want to take That's that back. That's usually just for initiative. I'm, the rest of my rolls are, like, not horrible. Typically. All right. So, All right. Um, first hour of travel. Are you guys looking for anything, or are you just carrying on? Uh, I feel like we're so close to town. I, 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 I'm personally of the opinion that even if we look, this area is probably going to be picked over. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll agree. Okay. Wow, let's just start this off right, I guess. Cool. Mm. <laughs> the only question is how many so... dragons? <laughs> dude, Where's dude, attack us! We got your eggs right here, dude! See? Real! <laughs> It's right there. One hundred percent. So, um, after you've been walking for twenty or thirty minutes, go ahead and give me a perception check. Yep. Oh, not bad. <laughs> I saw the eighteen pop up, and I thought, "Man, I finally did something right." <laughs> I realized it wasn't Oh. Aww. Felix is holding the torch like, oh gosh, it's bright out here. <laughs> the sun's in my eyes, like Mr. Irons. You just want me to leave while you tell them all the important things? <laughs> just take off your headset for like five seconds. <laughs> <laughs> He's mute deafened, perfect. <laughs> Now we can't hear Wait, us make did, he re did he really mute and deafen himself? Yeah, you can see it. The two little I, I just, Oh, he did! The one with the microphone means you can't speak. I can't, I can't undeafen him either. That's correct. <laughs> so Wait, I just I texted it to you since you were the... It's the first time I've ever you were the high purposefully roller. deafened myself. <laughs> Alright, now that all party members can hear... So for the future, when we do that, if I need if I need to talk to someone and not have everybody else listen, I'll just do this. Thank goodness. Oh. <laughs> Thou hast been banished. 
<laughs> Get out of here. Because then, because then when it's over, I can just drag you back myself. Nice. It's okay. probably a better way to do that than what I did. Plus, if I need to give you guys different information, I can just jump between rooms and deliver whatever is needed. Go to your rooms, kids. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry, carrying on. Oh, no, you're good, you're good. Okay. okay. Uh, we rolled a bunch of perception checks. Yes. And Logan deafened himself. And now we're back. I feel like Felix also deafened himself slightly. <laughs> you guys make it really hard to be serious sometimes. <laughs> I don't know how. These guys? No. This campaign is like <laughs> the epitome of serious. Do we have to go back to the stoner druid? druid who's a high elf. <laughs> hey, dude, like, high elf, man. Uh -huh. Okay. Um, high elf. Man, I'm funny. Man, you're hilarious. Okay, let's serious up for like five seconds so I can warn you about the impeding <laughs> danger. Serious. <laughs> I can hey, no laughing. This is serious. <laughs> so you're right. <laughs> Very serious. Sorry, sorry. <clears throat> Guys, can you hear that? It, it, there's wind. It's getting louder and it's coming. I, I feel like we need to ready some weapons or something. Or maybe light more torches. I don't know. Well, uh, I like that idea. However, if there is a wind approaching, it might disperse the mist. Cool. So, so, like, I'll be honest, I'm not really opposed to the idea of investigating further. Oh, I don't want to investigate. I want to get away from it. But like, yeah, I, I understand that's what you're ready. saying. My counterpoint is that, uh, in, in, like in the rock paper scissors of elemental phenomena, wind beats mist. Have you seen anything good come out of this mist yet? I also haven't seen any wind yet. So to r avoid answering your question, yes. Well, also wait, not to like harp on this. But you made the recommendation that we, like, put out the torches? No, don't put out the torches! Okay. No, 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 no. Okay, what good. are you, stupid? I, I must have misheard you, which I'm very grateful <laughs> for, because I was going to say that that would be a bad idea. Man, you sure are oblivious, pal. Yes, I want all of us to die a horrible death to be dismembered <laughs> by the team. See, that's what I'm saying, like... You're trying to steal Bertha. What the fuck does that I mean? I can smell it. What does that mean? Wait, wait, just... the, the name bestowed to his hammer. Ah. I retract my incredulity. I'm gonna kind of clutch onto my hammer and eye my Peters suspiciously. Like, so wait, what uh, do I feel? This, the... this seems to be sowing malcontent within the group. I, my, I, I've i now altered my vote to also ignoring the mist and also not stealing Bertha. We were never gonna steal Bertha! Just, oh my just god! Yeah, dude! <laughs> that out there. So, like, wait, what direction was that wind coming from? Just so, like, we know to him. Uh, which direction we should go to avoid it? Well, it's coming in our direction, but. Um, oh shit, there it is. Do you want me to light another torch? Yeah, or maybe use, um, I don't know, uh, some here, magic. I'm gonna be put out by um here how about this i'll hand you the torch and then i'll bring out a different unlit torch and cast the light spell on love it there you go you take that one Thank or you. you can have the light the the non-lit light one if you prefer can i request any color sure then i want lilac Alrighty, let me draw that <laughs> Base bit. Otherwise, no, it's the shit. <laughs> is lilac which what 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 uh not that I'm on a layer, but which color of lilac would you prefer? I'm pretty sure it's like the color of her hair, dude. If I had to take a guess. Yeah, I was just was gonna, like, she's just gonna point at her hair. Alrighty, let me. Fowl's gonna like fist pump really hard. Like... Yeah, yeah. My uh, I, I, I'm sorry, my colors are fairly limited here. Can you just, like, mix the blue and the purple and then, like, a little bit of gray, and then, like, spread it real thin on the paper so it looks lighter? Well, here's my problem, is that... That didn't look right, though. That's really the closest I can do, I'll be honest. <laughs> what? That's the torch. Beautiful. I'm, I'm muted. I'm muted, that's why everyone's ignoring me. How about this one? <laughs> <laughs> that never happened. That's, oh, which one is it? It's in the sample palette! 
Yeah, wait. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Just as the torch gets lit. Second from the right. Uh, sixth I'll, from the You top. know what? I'll find it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just as the torch gets lit, uh, the sound of this wind has been getting louder and louder as you guys have been arguing. And Talk. it reaches a crescendo <laughs> right as the torch is lit. And it cuts off. Damn it. Keep going. Don't oh, stop. Good sound effects. We reaches a crescendo just as the torch is lit, and a sudden, a sudden gale blows across the group, pushing a hard bank of the fog through you. Um, how many torches do you have lit at this point in the party? Two lit light fire torches and one unlit light cantrip fire torch. On fire torch. Okay, uh, who's holding the regular old flaming torches? Uh, Felix. I think Felix and Orsic were the fire torches. Okay. Um, both of you guys roll a 1d20. Yes, my strength. I'm going to need you to roll a d10,000 for me. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, I'm the best. Look at you. Go me. Felix, we're wow. going. Wow, double digits. <laughs> <laughs> Moving up in the world. Does that just mean I rolled a 1 and a 4? <laughs> Good old concatenation. Or you got to roll two. Was that a... Sorry, am I supposed to do the 20? <laughs> yeah. Yes, sorry. I couldn't hear you over the wind. He's still distracted thinking about the eggs. God, I'm hungry. Man, those eggs, though. Eggs are wow, man, great. All right. So, I'm going to go... I'm going to let the sound effect die off, but as the, as the wind rips through the group, um, the torches sputter but don't go out, um, and obviously the magically illuminated one definitely does not go out. But it pushes a, a a wave, if you will, of, of the fog across the group. Everybody, go ahead and make a Constitution save. Ooh! Wow, I'm actually not oh. trash at that. Can't wait to screw this oh. up. Constitution. I am trash at this. Con Constitution. Nailed it. Oh! Hell yeah. oh. <laughs> 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 Woohoo! Woohoo! It is possible. What a brisk breeze. Oh no! All right, right everybody. Felix looks over his shoulder, staring at the corpses of his once friends. <laughs> so you you you're you're coming out pretty lucky on this, actually. The uh, the, the dice roll are in your favor finally at the end here. Um, so the three of you that failed the con save um, get a brief coughing fit and take one point of damage, but are otherwise unharmed. Oh. Um, <clears throat> that it could have been a little bit worse, but not too <laughs> awful terrible. Bad. I'm not sure I believe that. The not too much worse part is what I do. So the the wind kind of dies down and the the fog resumes its normal shape in a bubble around your light sources and things go back to normal-ish. Well, Wit, I concede defeat. The wind was not advantageous in the least. Nope. Sure wasn't. It smells funny. <laughs> Yep. As I kind of. Do you also stutter when you? <laughs> uh, no, I just took, I took a point of damage, so I wanted to be like, well, it's only one point, so I'll give it like a little baby cough. I feel you. <coughs> I prefer to think he stutters when he coughs. <coughs> dude, that, that's like some good shit, dude. Oh, yeah. You can see it, please. Don't try and get high off the mist. What? No, no, I'm totally not, dude. And then Fowl, like, wafts air oh, into it. his face. No. Oh, please, please do it. I, I haven't come up with an end boss for this campaign yet. <laughs> <laughs> it's turned out Fowl Dune was the end boss. <laughs> so I bet you wondered why the guys are all of you here today, dudes. <laughs> so... Um, that was the first hour of travel and the random check, which you guys happened to luck into a random encounter. Yay, you! Yay. Go on. So that officially expires whatever torches you had lit for that hour, so adjust inventories right. accordingly. Well, that's so what do we do with the discarded torches? Do we just, like, Are we littering? throw them on... Well, I mean, they're, they're made out of wood, I would imagine. Well, I feel like we should keep them so we could create a bonfire later tonight. See, that's sure. a good idea. Alright, well, I will hand in my burnt torch to whoever decides they want to do that. 
Well, I have a backpack, so just stick them in my backpack. Deal. All right. I'll, Don't I'll touch Bertha. On to my... I'm not gonna touch Bertha. Do do these skinny arms <laughs> look like they could eat? Oh, Bertha, come on. Uh, you'd be surprised. She's <laughs> surprisingly agile. If you can imagine that, just while this conversation five going minutes. on, she's before... she, she, yeah. agile. Sorry, <laughs> no, it's okay. Uh, I will take out a new torch and light it with the old torch. I as well. In a, a, a fitting metaphor for life. All right. So, uh, you continue on through the fog. Anybody doing anything else different, strange, interesting? Dude, I'm just saying, I'm like, whatever made this mist, it's, like, top tier. Insert that meme of, uh, what is it, like, Crunk from the Emperor's New Groove, given, like, the, the piece Yes, that face, but, mm. <laughs> like, dude, we gotta find out whoever did this. Stop them! And then, obviously, like, get their fog recipe, you know what I'm saying? I'll, right. I'll leave you to that. That seems, that seems like a foul dude. Job. Maybe like Evan. So, in the interest of expediency and not bogging things down with boring travel, um, let's see. It's... So, you guys walk on for four more hours. Um, go ahead and. If you were keeping two torches lit, go ahead and drop eight more total from your inventory somewhere. Right. Uh, I'll get rid of two of them. Contribute to the cost. Uh, I've still got a bunch. They gave us like 20. Yeah, didn't you keep all of those? Yeah, I kept all of those. Okay. So I, don't, I don't mind divvying them up among the people. Uh, we could just make you in charge of them. And then we pretend like we divvied yeah. them up. Yeah, okay, I like that, that better. Sweet. I prefer it better when you carry the things. Would. So, um, at that point, that puts you five hours into your travel. So, uh, given that we're, we'd say a day's travel is probably like ten hours or so, maybe halfway to your destination. Okay. So, continuing on. So, uh, as you were continuing to walk down the mist-shrouded trail from off in the, in the distance... Is that Magnus? You, <laughs> you... You hear something roar indistinctly. No, it's much more terrifying. It's much less terrifying. It's just an elder gold dragon. You know, they might take pity on our ridiculousness. So, Please be um... an <laughs> <laughs> Is that Godzilla? Like that thing. Mm. That's <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh yeah. Super Godzilla. friendly guys. You guys want to go pet it? Yeah, dude. Like, uh, let's afraid. go for it. Dude, everyone loves visitors, dude. Oh, you can talk to animals, can't you? <laughs> Wait, what? No. Oh, what? <laughs> Who are you talking to? No, no, like they're not good. As you all are discussing and planning, the the sound fades somewhat, as if the creature is moving away. Oh, well, that's good. What? what sucks? Does it though? It could have needed our help. Just saying. Maybe it was like a giant lion with a thorn in its paw. Yeah, it, it could have been. Well, maybe that was like Eldritch Abomination speak for like, "Hey, dudes, how's it going?" And we were just, like, super rude by not responding. <laughs> That's possible. Improbable, but possible. After another few hours of walking, um, from out of the fog, you, uh, <clears throat> a, a bridge looms up. You can see the handrails just at the edge of your sphere of light on either side, and the wooden planking of the bridge itself uh, in front of you. Just for the sake of my torch upkeep, how many hours specifically? 
Um, let's see, you were at five hours before, and this is going to take you to the, like, eight, so three three hours. So if you had two torches lit, six more torches gone. Okay. I am now out of the torches that they gave us. But I have a couple to spare. All right, I will hand in... I also have a couple to spare. I, I will hand in my exhausted torch and light a new one. All righty. And yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that you guys are lighting new torches off of old ones as they go out, so... Yeah. yeah. To, or, like, I do have the cantrip time. produce flame, so I can just make, like, a flame on the ground, then. Like, quick light the torch, mm -hmm. put the fire out. Continue. Yeah, just just let me know when mine burn out, so I can keep marking in my inventory as my supply diminishes. Yeah, it's an administrative thing, just to make you think about resource management a little bit. So. That's fair. So, uh, that, let's see, that was eight hours, so um, as you cross the bridge, your feet echo, uh, you know, your footsteps echo back at you from the water below, uh, but you don't detect anything else unusual. Uh, shortly after coming off the other end of the bridge, <coughs> excuse me, fog got me. <coughs> shortly after coming off the other end of the bridge, uh, you spot a fairly well-trod dirt path heading off to the right from your current trail. This is probably the path to the goblins that I've heard so much about. Uh, could I try to see what made the tracks? Like, what is it that's making this path so well-worn? Certainly. You can do a survival check for that. Ba -ba -ba boosh Coming right up. Sir, survival. All right. I'm looking at the tracks. There appear to be tracks from, uh, like, some carts and definitely from Goblin. Uh, dude, there were some Goblins that came this way, dude. Could this be, like, you know, the Goblin path? I think that makes sense. I agree. Or, hmm, wait a minute. Actually, what did, like, John Dulug say? Maybe there was, like... I can't remember if we were supposed to go in the front door or if there was, like, another way he, uh, wanted us to go inside this little goblin hollow. I don't really think there's doors. Well, that's lame. There would let a draft in. They're goblins. I don't really think they mind. Damn goblin. Orsa just spits on the ground. He's not a fan. Definitely not a fan. So, continuing down the dirt path. Oh, um, I, sure, we're following the goblin tracks, right? That's my vote. Is uh, following that's the path is. with the goblin tracks on it. All right. So, you head down the dirt path. Um, at this point, you are, you know, there's trees on either side of you that you can easily see. Um, so, I would say that hunting for herbs is probably an option in each hour of travel. Who's got the list of herbs you're looking for? I think I have it. Want me to copy-paste this into chat? Uh, I'm checking to see if I've got it somewhere. But yeah, you can. I swear I wrote it down, but I don't see it. Now. Oh. Or Logan beats me to it. Huh? I apparently didn't write it down. Uh, Good job, guys. Yes, you did. I mean, me on track. Yeah, it's a handout. Like, you literally gave oh, it to okay. us. I'm looking in my spreadsheet. Never mind. Okay. <laughs> I said it was a handout, but apparently my mic was muted, and I'm like, these people aren't listening to me. Now, we're just completely ignoring you. Matter of fact, I mute you all the time when you think you're talking. That explains so much. All right. So, uh, if you would like to look for herbs, we can run um, run a check for that uh, at the end of each hour segment. Sounds good. So, uh, first hour heading into the wilderness. Perfect. And then... Okay, um, everybody that's keeping an eye out for herbs along the sides of the path in what little space you can see. Go ahead and give me a... Well, 
Yep, survival works. Yep. You guys are so consistent. Oh my gosh! This is getting spooky, guys. <laughs> so, despite keeping your eyes open, um, looking for herbs on the sides of the path, you do not see any of the any of the specific ones that she was looking for. And continuing on down the trail. And then go ahead and give me another set of survival checks for uh, to search again. Ooh. Have I never been outside? Is this what the outdoors <laughs> is like? Hmm. All right. Continuing to keep an eye out for the herbs, you do not spot any. Glad I picked the worst set of adventures. <laughs> So, as you uh, as you finish this next hour of travel, so that was that was two hours since you left the road. Um, mm -hmm. So four more torches. Should we all get rid of one? Uh, I am. I'm on my last torch at the moment. Right. Yeah, we guys, we might die out here. No, we'll be fine. It really seems like they didn't give us enough torches. Well, I mean, should, should we try just not doing two at a time? I feel like that was... I think that's our problem. We'll try to do that's one weird. and then do the light spell. Yeah, that's okay. not a bad idea. Uh, so I'll get rid of two now, and then probably just one more. Like, from here on out, just use one more for each hour that passes. Okay. Hopefully the goblins will have some that we can um, acquire. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah, liberate. All right. So, uh, as you're moving forward down the trail, uh, over the last ten or fifteen minutes, it got more and more rocky and kind of a little bit steeper. And from out of the darkness, uh, go ahead and give me a perception check. Don't be. Tried. Oh yeah. Sorry, I dumped. It's dark. Holy Jesus! Who's there? Who said that? <laughs> yeah, I rolled a crit fail, got a six. Who said that? Hit reveal yourself. We'll, uh... Stop inhaling the mess, dude. It, it <laughs> smells so good. <laughs> Sorry, dude. What was it? <laughs> Guys, do you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Quiet down, quit huffing so loud. I kind of hear voices ahead. Voices, you say? Mm -hmm. Alright, should How we, do we like, try to proceed with caution? That's mm. always my best bet. I'll do my best. Should we, like, we keep the torches in later, or should we... Well, if we unlight the torches, then the mist monsters are gonna yeet at us out of existence. So yeah, I think uh, yeah. I, I think keeping the torches up is just sort of the the, the permanent plan. All right, then, do we want to like? How do we want to proceed? Sneak it up on these goblin dudes. Well, we can't even see them yet. So I assume once we see their fire, they'll see ours. Nah, maybe they've got, like, a super big fire that we can see from, like, really far away. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> Alright, fingers crossed. So, At this point, I might be happy to see anything humanoid. So sorry. Oh, uh, here, here's a question. Uh, about, uh, here's a slight meta ruling I have a question about. So, like, as written in the DMG, uh, if you... You actually have advantage on all perception checks... If you cross your fingers and hope that it happens, does that like apply to this game, or we're gonna house rule that out no, of existence? No, I actually, I 
actually write that one out as a as a DM, like as a homebrew. Role, Damn it! That crossing your fingers actually gives you disadvantage on all ability checks. Okay. Oh. Does it give you advantage on deception though? Mm. Fingers crossed means it didn't happen. Damn it! All right, well, never mind. All right, sorry. Please proceed. So, how are you proceeding? Well, I think. Which way did you say they were coming from? Um, let me just check my ears here real quick. <laughs> um, <Okay>. ahead. <laughs> mm. At least we're going the right yeah. way. I still think sticking to the path's not a not a bad idea, but to get around them, we might have to circumvent the path slightly. But we don't even know what they are. I would guess they're goblins. I'd be- I- I would- I, I'm confident in the fact that they are not friendly. I mean, we could just stick to the path, and then if we need to fight, we just fight them. Mm hmm I suppose. I mean, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest, I'm probably gonna stick behind all of you anyway, so I'll sort of trust your judgment. Um, okay, well, I'll kind of ready Bertha, and I'll still have it in one hand and the torch in the other, but if somebody nasty comes by, I'm going to drop the torch and smash their face in. That's always a good plan. Okay. All right? Yeah, I can live with it. All right, so we're sticking to the path. Stealth or no stealth? Um, your call, uh, but Orsic promises nothing. That's fair. I doubt your armor is conducive to sneaking around. Plus, we do have exactly. lit torches. Yeah. So I'm not quite sure how stealthy we would be, even on a good day. But I'll, hey, I'll I'll roll with whatever you guys feel like feel like doing here. I understand we're surrounded by mist and not in the best place, so I won't uh, throw a Jenkins it. I think we should keep up a, a reasonable saunter. I don't really want this to take forever, but I also don't really want to go barreling forwards. Just sort of keep up maybe a slightly slower pace than we've been maintaining all day. Okay. Would be my so, view. As you proceed down the path, um, after another 15 or 20 yards, everybody's able to hear this, this faint murmur of voices, and it, it actually sounds, it has a, a certain echoey quality, um, as if they're coming out of a cave or something, and Lo and behold, after another ten yards or so, you come upon the mouth of a cave um, set in a large slab of rock alongside of the hill. From... I think this is the Goblin Warren. From inside the cave, uh, it slopes down immediately from the entrance, and you can see light emanating from further in. Ooh, a light, a light. I'm, I'm willing to go towards the light, even if it means it's a goblin war. I think I... Here's a question, dude. Since goblins are, like, really dumb, could we just come in and be all like, Yo, hey, what's up, dudes? We're, like, gods. Give us the rock, or else we're gonna be, like, super mad at you. That might work. Do we honestly look like gosh, Like... I'm pretty sure Felix is the most exotic one out of us all. I mean, we could, like, well, thank you. we could, like, spell the shit out of him to, like, doll him up a little bit. Like, you can cast, like, light on a cape or something. You get, like, a brilliant glow, kind of. Okay, that, uh, magic stuff's all you, boo. <laughs> we could, uh, we could make him, like, super attractive and, like, cover him, cover him in, like, fecal matter, you know? Like, you know, mark no. his scent. No, we have to talk with him. I don't want that. <laughs> <laughs> We could, like, pick a bunch of random leaves out in the forest and give them to the goblins and be like, here's some marijuana, dude, give us the stone. So you can be stoned too, dude, you know, you know what I'm saying? That is definitely your department. We could, like, I don't know, I'm kind of out of ideas. I'm out. 
Then we have those dragon eggs, which I like forgot about until this very moment. We do have the dragon eggs. We could try to barter with them. We, we, could. Could, we could be all like, hey, we're just traveling merchants. Would you like to but, buy our fine wares? You know, one thing I never thought of, do any of you guys speak goblinese or whatever? Yeah, I totally don't, dude. Uh, I do not. Dwarvish in common. Yeah, so we might not be the best trading partners. <laughs> Goblins speak common. Oh, do they? I can't remember. Probably not very well, but I assume, you know, passably. Probably got a really thick accent and it's like, yeah! Might want to get us! It's common. <laughs> I like it. So the plan is entirely up to you guys. <laughs> Do we look like people who have a plan? I mean, it seems like we're most of the way there already. The best plan. <laughs> best plan on the planet. Um, we really may have wanted to think of this, like, before we got here. No, oh, we're Do good. We want... See it of our pants. <laughs> yeah, we're good. Do we want to, like, intimidate them? Uh... uh... Because I'll be honest, walking into their turf, I don't think that's a good idea. I'm just spitballing. Has anyone got a clipboard? No. Do we just well, want to, like... Oh, sorry. Or no, no, the floor is yours. No, nope, I was just going to spit some nonsense. <laughs> well, so was I, so... <laughs> uh, I was just going to say, any day is a good day where I can crack some goblin skulls. So, I mean, you know Orsic's expectations... Uh, I'll uh, I'll try to keep it on the down low, but if if shit goes south, I'm just gonna start swinging. That's very fair. Fully prepared. Well, I I say here. How about this? Let's just keep. We'll just sort of keep doing what we're doing. And once it becomes a problem, we'll just figure it out. Yeah. By stabbing. Well, you know, by something. Hey, I'm cool yeah. with it. Maybe I should call Bertha the, the Great Peace Treaty. Yep, there you go. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> well, okay. we could always start with trying to barter if that just doesn't work and they are being dumb goblins, which I suspect. Uh, we can murder. I like Sounds that good plan. to me. Alright. So, where did we just enter? Are we in the cave now? Uh, no, you're in a holding area until we figured out what we Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, yeah, I like this uh, so, plane. Go to you. So, uh, you're in, I assume you're entering the cave. What order are you entering? In? I would petition to be near the rear. Uh, I'll volunteer to be in the front. No, don't you go in front. Oh, well, maybe you're good at talking. I volunteer to go second from the front behind someone who's good at talking, which I assume is not going to be Orsic. <laughs> you know, no offense, <laughs> but just read in the room. You know what, dude, what if goblins, like, super like Orsic? What if they're like... Then he becomes their king. <laughs> dude, I admire you. I don't think goblins and dwarves have the best relationship. Yeah, they really but... don't traditionally, but you know what? Maybe you're breaking out of those molds. It we'll could all be. break molds together. Yeah. My uh, my good looks and uh, wild charm has uh, wooed the goblins. Meta, goblins actually have more charisma than you. <laughs> <laughs> probably do. True. <laughs> or six like, dude, these goblins, they have a point. Okay. They are very convincing. Alright. Uh, like, eh. How eh. wide are the Goblin Warrens? Like, do we need to stack up in single file? Um, so the first part of the cavern is single file, and I'll move you into it as soon as you have an order. Okay. Oh, okay. So how do we want to work this? I think having Orsic in the front to deal with anything from the front is a good idea. And then we can kind of shuffle around later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds good to me. I'm cool with it. You get along with my duck. Who wants to be second? Good. Yeah. Alrighty. Sorry, what was that? It's a bit busy. I'm asking. 
We're just trying to figure out the order. Do you want us in a vertical line or a horizontal line? Uh, DM. Horizontal sounds good. All right. Oh, here we are. Bring up the reef. <laughs> you actually got us all of our eggs. You're welcome. Even mine. Excellent. <laughs> the masterpiece. I think I'm going to leave the eggs here for now. Um, um, if you need them, though, I will drag them to you as you pull them out of your pack. Okay. Sounds good to me. So, unless you're going to walk in holding them up in the air. Eggs. Oh, no, we got to protect Eggs, anyone. <laughs> You know, who wants a dragon egg? That's real. Totally legit, dudes. Alright. Um, this is going to kind of project out into the room a little bit. This hallway is not long enough for the four of you, unfortunately. Um, so, as you, as you enter the room, uh, Felix, you may end up having to listen for a moment before everybody else moves in. Yeah, we can do that. So as you enter the cave, the floor slopes down for 10 or 15 feet and then levels out. And uh, in front of you, you see like a doorway carved through the stone. And just on the other side of the doorway, there appear to be torches lit on both sides. Um, any any lingering mist that made it down into the cave seems to be stopping here at this, at this brightly lit area just on the other side of this doorway. And... You can now fairly Bye clearly hear the, uh, uh, the chittering voices of a couple now of goblins discussing so something, good. echoing in Bye. from the cave beyond. Oh. Sounds like it's this way. Hmm. Yeah. Makes sense. So, you are in control. Go for it. Onward! Onward, indeed. Yeah. So, Orsic, as you step out into the room, and I'm going to move forward one so I can go ahead and put Felix in here. There you go. You step out into a room that is a distance I totally know. About 40 feet across. Um, this is kind of hard to do with dynamic lighting, so take my, my word for it. But there is a, a uh, on the corner across from where you enter, there is a fallen stalactite lying on the floor. And down uh, towards the other end of the room, there's a, a wall probably four or five feet tall stretching across with a gap in the middle. And there are platforms behind the wall on either side of the gap. And you can just faintly see movement um, on the platforms kind of behind the edge of the wall. The goblin voices appear to be coming from down there as well. Hmm, okay. See the goblins, dude? I do. Hmm. They s don't... They look gross. Um, outside of that, though, I guess I should let them know we're here. What do you, how do you guys feel about that? I don't want to, I don't want to do anything without kind of talking to you first. I feel like it should be like as loud as possible. I feel like goblins, like, they're going to go investigate with the noises. Like, hello, I am here. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I think we should initiate the contact. Make okay. it seem less suspicious. And if they so, look violent about weapons, right? Yeah, I was thinking I'll kind of keep my weapon in an unthreatening manner. Yes, as you do with Bertha. Yeah, exactly. Um, and, and approach and just kind of like hail the, uh, the goblin guards, I guess. Hmm. Alright, go for it. G -g -g Goblin, I have tr trade for you. As you step across the floor, oh, and I guess I can switch this up a little. You give the guy with the lowest charisma to try to do the talk. I see how it is. 
<laughs> I think it's, it's a great oh. plan. It's a wonderful <laughs> plan. I don't know what you're talking about. You're not intimidating, okay? <laughs> I just think. That's not, <laughs> goblins are probably like, what is this rare and exotic odor? <laughs> That's a good brand. They might just think you're a goblin. <laughs> right, a bearded oh, yeah. goblin. So, as you enter hailing the goblins, uh, from the from one of the platforms by the wall, uh, you see one of them pop up, and I'm going to move him up here, but he's still on the platform, just kind of poking his head up above the wall. Thanks, dynamic lighting. Pops his head up and uh, points, points at you and shouts excitedly to others back behind the wall, and you hear rapid back there. Um, and then... And, Another one pops up on the other side. And one of them shouts out. What do you want? I bring dragon eggs. I wish to trade. Roll persuasion. All right, here we go. Negative four. <laughs> Never seen a roll less than zero before. Oh my god! <laughs> that was oh, a great fail like twice. <laughs> <coughs> it was it was moving a little slow for oh him. Yeah, negative two. That that fit. <laughs> Good job! You've underflowed well, the value in the hard. world. It's like Gandhi <laughs> sending out nukes to everybody. <laughs> so. Uh, insight is a wisdom skill, and a goblin's <laughs> wisdom has a negative one modifier. <laughs> also known as... So the, lowest, the lowest they can possibly roll would be a... <laughs> so, they... But, uh, I'll do but here's a question. Okay. Could they still crit fail? Uh, I might consider some mitigating circumstances on fail, but they... <laughs> okay. Even... Even Magnus groaned behind me. He thinks this is ridiculous. <laughs> the the goblin doesn't seem to trust your your stuttering speech and lack of conviction in your own words, and shouts something uh, excitedly to other goblins behind it. And a larger one steps up into the opening between the two between the two walls and looks you over. You alone? I. I think we need de deception there. Uh, yes, deception. His greatest <laughs> skill on the planet. <laughs> hey! Uh, <that's> <laughs> Positive number! <laughs> well, that's not good enough, unfortunately. <laughs> the one in the the one standing in the middle of the turns and shouts something in goblin. Nope, it's just called Goblin, apparently. Shout something in Goblin. I'm going to call it Goblinese. Goblish. Um, Gobble. To... Gobbled. Gobbledygook. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Two others behind it, and then gestures at the two on the wall, um, who turn and immediately draw back their bows. Uh, go ahead and roll initiative. How did that fail? <laughs> oh, yeah, I I that was I'm sorry. That was bulletproof. <laughs> Great. And now <laughs> the guy with charisma of like four to do the negotiate. Now time for my best skill. They were goblins. Come on. What? Why am I clicking twice? That's a good question. Is it just going uh, slow interview. for everyone? Yeah, the going slow for me. Yeah, like that's okay. what happened. I had to reload, and it seems to work better now. Five and yeah. Okay. Oh my god. How? This is still one of the highest initiative rolls I've ever gotten in this game. <laughs> wow. Have you rolled double digits yet? Or has it just been consistently one? No, absolutely not. I don't think I've rolled above five for initiative. I believe that's correct. I think your highest was either a five or a six. And I'll be honest, when I'm deciding if a five or a six is the highest, it's not good. <laughs> you... Two thirds of that D12 have remained unused. Correct. Think of how much money you could have saved if you had just bought a D6. 
He'd probably roll higher on average. Rough month. Well, it's a good thing I'm all the way in the back, since I'm moving last. Now that Plan, is you know. some good pie! Oh, I'm just like, I'll assume this... the position. Bad! Alright. So, uh, the two goblin archers standing on top of the tower are loose arrows that... That will be uh, an 18 and a 14 to hit. 18 hits, 14 misses. All right. 18 hits. I'll roll damage 18 times. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Neji Hugo's a goblin. Take, take six piercing damage as one arrow slams into your shoulder. The other glances harmlessly off the wall behind at this point, it's probably pretty clear from the shouting in the air to everyone back there in the hall hallway, things have gone awry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what do you think that, like, thrumming is, sound is, dude? Orsic, you're next. <laughs> um, okay. As a, a, as a note of, um, not advice, but something you would notice, the... The stalactite fallen in on the side of the room that stands about waist high on the average person. Uh, ah. uh, so you you could use it as a chosen. And uh, to reiterate, these archers are up on a platform. In other words, I can't just run up and, and smack them. Like, how tall is their platform? Uh, the platform runs about five feet. So I could go break some kneecaps, technically. Yeah, you could probably hit them from where you would it be disadvantage? Uh, um, so the wall that's in front of them, taller than five feet, so you couldn't get around that. You would have to step the area where that bigger guy is, step, is standing, and, and, okay. and then you can swing at them. Okay. Um, I'm just going to charge in then. Um, <laughs> my companions, all, all they hear is is footsteps and Orsic go MURDER! <laughs> so negations are going well. Yeah, Orsic's like, darn guys, the plan didn't work. Oh well, time for plan A. I mean plan B. Right. Orsic, is... <laughs> Orsic seems to be in his element here. I'll be honest, I see this as an absolute win. Oh, it's going slow again. <clears throat> uh, alright, I got one. Uh, so, you slam your maw down goblins between the two platforms. Uh, um, he raises his shield and blocks it, deflecting the blow. Rude. Uh, Alright, that, that'll end my turn there. Alright. Quit. Alright. Let's run in and see what's going on. Oh, okay, so that's just what's going on. <laughs> um, and a quick confirmation, who's got lights and torches and stuff to make sure that they're still set appropriately? I do not. Mine would have been know. dropped right about here. Oh, so I could have totally snagged his on my way in. <laughs> uh, and you just move, so if you want to do that, you can. Yeah, I'll grab that real quick on my way in. Okay. Here. I don't know if I still have the light spell torch. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, so I don't have the movement to go any further, but I am gonna whip out my short bow and shoot that archer goblin right. All right. Maybe. You fire an arrow at the archer goblin, but he ducks down behind the wall just before you lose. Jerk. Oh, oh. Did, you, did you shoot twice nope. or was that? The nope, interface? that was that was lag. Okay. I'm gonna refresh this page real quick, but I don't have any other actions, so. Okay. Carrying go. Uh, let's see. Uh, Orsic, you notice 
immediately behind your companion here. Uh, two more goblins stack up, ready to come through. Oh! Oh my. Baldoon, you're And what's your light situation? Uh? How lit are you, I guess I should say. <laughs> I'm lit enough for like eight people, so I don't have a torch. I believe I okay. didn't have a torch in the first place. I think the other three were taking care of that. Yeah, and you had dark vision, and that's, that's set correctly, so you're, you're Yeah, good. all right. Let's boogie on to this square, see what's up. Hmm. This is, uh, it's pretty bad. All right. Allow me to delve into my list of all the... And yeah, otherworldly powers. Ah, oh, perfect. I would like to cast Bonfire at this guy right here in front of Orsic. Okay. It's taken a while, but I, I did it. There we go. Alright. Any creature in its space when it's cast must take another dex save or take one day. Okay. Uh, let's see, dexterity. Uh, it passed. No. Oh. Did it take half damage or, or. Nope, doesn't look like it. Nope, it's a cantrip, so it just doesn't take damage. Okay. And. Look at what I've got. Let's see. There, bonfire. Perfect. Uh, I would then like to take a couple steps, uh, perhaps out of the direct path of the mouth of the cave, so that uh, Felix won't have an, uh, an obstructed view. Okay, and uh, I guess that's all I got. All right. So uh, the the goblin leader standing in the middle, who now finds himself standing on bonfire. Uh, uh, when it enters the space for the first time on a turn, or ends its turn there. So I guess it doesn't have to make one now, because it's there? Uh, correct. So if it, it would only have to make that save if it ends its turn there? Yes, so if it ends its turn somewhere else, then it's fine. But also if it enters that space again, it would have to make it when it enters as well. Gotcha. Um, the goblin makes a wild slash at Orsic. Is going to be like a 10 to hit. Uh, yeah, 10 to hit. That'll miss. Um, and then leaps back out of the bonfire. Felix. Uh, I'm going to get to this spot using 20 feet of my movement. Oh, boy. Um, hey, what was that, like, bow-flinging sound that I heard? Where was that coming from? I asked to Fal- uh, but yeah, Faldoon and Wit. Is that coming from, like, that direction? There's, like, there's some goblins, like, over there, dude. Over that way. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm gonna use five more three of I will hit... This one, can I see this guy? Yep. Well, I, I can physically it. see him, so I'm gonna. Yeah, your your lighting should be fairly accurate to your right, cool. your actual vision at this point. So then I will target this one. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna target the slightly farther one because Ray Frost has 60 feet, and I'm gonna chuck a Ray Frost at it. All right. As, as I remember how to make stuff happen. Did that guy... Ah, oh, man. That almost worked. Did that guy leave the spot where the bonfire is? Yes, he jumped back. Then did he suffer an attack of opportunity? Oh, he did not. Orsic. <laughs> Good catch. No. That will hit. Alright, you slam your maul down on, the, uh, on his back as he tries to jump out of the fire and uh, are rewarded with a nice crunching noise as he gets out of the way. Good job, Orson. Woo! 
And the Ray of Frost. Um, so you fire a Ray of Frost at the archer on the left side there, um, but mm -hmm. unfortunately it misses and slams into the stone wall behind it. Great food, I guess. All right. Uh, I'll use the last five feet of my movement inconspicuously to end my turn. All right. Uh, we go to the archers. They are still, now that the rest of you have entered the room uh, and their their friends are right there to kind of back them up on Corsic, they turn and begin firing arrows towards the back of the room. Uh, the first one's headed towards Wit. That will be a 19 to hit. Yeah, that hits. Uh, it will be four piercing damage. And the second one hit goes for Faldoon. Also a 19 hit. That does it. And six piercing damage. All right. All right. Orsic, your turn. All right. Uh, is there any feasible way for me to get up onto this platform or either one of them? Like and share the space with them and fight, or no? Um, I think it would go into there is there is a mechanic, isn't there, to like let you push someone out of a square? It goes down to like a strength contest or something. But in this case, you'd have to like step onto the bonfire, do the check for the bonfire, and then climb up onto the platform. Um, so I, I don't know if that I don't know if that's going to be feasible because of the, gotcha. the the climbing with all of them right there. Sure, I mean, it makes sense. Okay. Sorry, just thinking. That's fine. It gives me a... Good. I expect nothing less from Orsi. It gives me a chance to read my spells. <laughs> I'm actually going to grab a beverage real quick while you think. Okay. All right, now that he's gone, let's figure out how to take this whole campaign. <laughs> All right, good. We have the meeting. We're gonna leave, we're gonna huff this mist. Perfect. Put out all the torches. I just leveled up to 99. <laughs> <laughs> Weird, I found these uh, 86 potions of uh, uh, permanent health increase. <laughs> Dude, what a coincidence. Did you know these goblins were actually carrying a stone of win the game? Ow! I'll be honest, I was really surprised about it. The goblins of all things. Tur turns out that one random NPC goblin with the bow actually was causing all the mist the whole time. Campaign's over. Wait, oh guys, we did it. Oh, us. So oh, really us. a super Maybe. high level wizard. We just didn't realize it. I'm proud of us. Guys, he's back. Shh, shh, shh. All right, as to not burn my feetsies, I am going to run away. You're a genius. Really a thinker. And I'm going to use my light crossbow on one of those dorky archers. <laughs> Got roasted. Insulting them and shooting them. Are you a bard? <laughs> <laughs> All right, which one are you aiming for? Left or right? Left. Okay. You fire the light crossbow at the one on the left, and you manage to slam the crossbow bolt. Uh, oh, actually, how would you like to do it? Oh, yeah, right between the eyes. Just, just as I'm running, I turn around real quick and I let one go, and it lands right in between the goblin's eye. The goblin topples over the top edge of the wall and below, uh, dead with a crossbow bolt between the eyes. And that will end my turn. Nice. All right. Woohoo! Wit. Oh, going. Okay, super exciting. I'm gonna try to hit the one on the right again because he's a jerk. Get it. Mean well, he's not a dork. <laughs> Come on, right. attack roll. Vicious mockery. Come through. Do the thing. There, there it is. You go. <laughs> My god. Jesus. Slam, you slam an arrow from your short bow into the goblin's chest, and it kind of gasps and clutches at the arrow, stumbling back for an remain standing. Yeah, jerk. Anything else? Mm, I'm gonna just kind of shuffle over behind the stalactite a little bit. All right. Cause I'm super brave. Um, I will say, for being behind the stalactite, uh, if you choose to crouch down, you can get half cover. Just do a little squat with the salve I am. All right. 
Um, the two of the goblins that are back there behind the wall, uh, those of you who can see them, you see them move off to the right, and you hear a brief scuffling noise, and then they both drop down over the wall on your side. Hmm. Well, Doom. Oh, all right. Oh, <laughs> we have company. That's true. Hmm. Okay. Big brain plays. I would like to run up to these fine gentlemen up here. Gather their attention. Be like, hey, dude, what's that over there? And I point to myself and I transform into a bear. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> uh, hang on. I've got oh, your bear. Guys. He... I know I've got your bear. Where is that bear? Is. Uh, rawr. Oh, come on. And I'm going to put you back in the holding area. All right. Bam, all right. Then I'll uh, snarl at this guy right here and hit him with a bear claws attack. Um, so wild shape is an action? Uh, because I am a circle of the moon druid, is it? it is a bonus action. All right, which, carry on then, Which sir. is, in fact, a real Don't thing. Let me get in your way. Uh, unfortunately, there's so many rules. Come on. Uh, here we go. Combat wild shape. You gain the ability to use wild shape on your turn as a bonus action. Additionally, while transport. Yeah, I, I believe you. You don't have to prove uh, it. I trust you as poor of an idea as that might be. <laughs> <laughs> no bam, bear claws. Noted. Bear claws, ready for breakfast. God, dude, I fucking love bear claws. Right? I want some fucking bear claws now. Damn. Just How would you like best. to do it? Ooh. One second the guy's there, and the next second... He's there, but like with a bear mauling him with its claws. All right. He gets mauled and collapses to the ground in a bleeding, weeping puddle. And, and I'll be honest, I feel kind of bad doing this. Bears do have multi-attack. So I'm going to... Yeah, at, at low levels, uh, druids in, you know, like bear or tiger shape are just super cool. They're pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, in that case, I will bite this guy with a bear uh, bite attack. Baboosh. Oh. All right. You lunge out and clamp your jaws down on his shoulders and give him a little shake, uh, grinding some bones in the process, and he screams in pain. All right. I growl with satisfaction and uh, end the turn there. All right. From behind the wall, you hear a little more commotion, and the... Goblin from the other side, uh, the one remaining one, drops down and lashes out at our bear friend. Uh, let's see, what's he got here? Well, that'll be a six to hit. That's not going anywhere. And that'll be an 11 to hit. I don't think that's going anywhere either. It does not. He was not expecting a bear. He is not prepared for this eventuality. He just swung at regular human height and went over the bear's head. You could say that he is very surprised. He'll <laughs> <laughs> no. get buried, Ori. Felix. Um. Let's see. I feel like Eldoon kind of got the the melee combat under control. I think I'll just stick with my bread and butter and ray of frost this guy. my right hand spasming my left hand kind of like almost like I'm throwing something that's not the right screen and I just like chuck a bolt of energy vaguely in its direction I say as I scramble to find my spell book there we go that absent I rolled it up like digging through his pouch in the middle of battle I know I've got that new tail around here Whoa. somewhere 
Okay. All right. How would you like to do it? Uh, the bolt sort of hits him in the chest, freezing his torso, st- momentarily stopping his limbs from, like, moving at the shoulders. And eventually, as the cold hits his heart, he just sort of shuts down forever. All right. He slumps to the ground behind the wall. All right. And, uh... Come on, champ, you got this thing. Wow. And uh, that's kind of all I got. I'll just, uh, I'll take a a defensive move here. This is a pro strat. I'm going to move up here slightly. And then I'm good. All right. Orsic. All right. Uh, Orsic gleefully charges into battle. And I'm going to swing at the guy to my fangs. Behind you? (laughs) Yeah. Somewhere like that. Alright. You Uh. swing your maul, but unfortunately the goblin ducks back and you miss, his, you miss his face by just an inch. Orsa got too excited. Uh, okay, that'll end my turn then. Alright. Wit. Okay, so I'm gonna do the thing that's been working for me so far and try and hit the guy with a sh- Good plan. Right? And which one are you aiming at? Um, isn't there only one that's alive that I can... Uh, so there is an alive one here. It's oh. hard to tell. standing on top of this button. Okay. okay. Well, I shot the one in the lower corner because that's what I could see. So. Okay, so you went for the one in the corner. Yep. Okay. Uh, how would you like to do it? Um, I imagine I just let Luth see the arrow and hopefully hit him in the neck. All right. You slam the arrow through his neck and he collapses back against the wall. <laughs> and I'm going to move forward a little bit. It's his turn next, too. How sad. Baldoon! Oh. <laughs> oh man, what a poor guy. This goblin stepped up right in the space of the other goblin with me still here. Oh, what a bad choice. Uh, I guess I'll just go with, uh... Hmm. I guess I'll go for a bite attack on this guy that's right in front of me. I can see the bear, like, looking at his claws. <laughs> Left, right. Uh. No, no. Are you kidding me with this? Damn. Okay. I <laughs> more the fool I trying to put a macro in here. Come on, let's see if this does it. Shit. That do it. I hate you. <laughs> that almost worked. <laughs> that work. Hey! At last. <laughs> at last! Hey! Yes. Good job, I missed. Okay, but you know what? Uh, it may have been bad in principle, but it was... Uh, no. It was bad in practice, but okay in principle. So, here's what here's what we do. We do the same thing again, except with the claws, and better. Well, bam That is better. Alright, you lash out with your claws, raking deep gashes across the goblin's chest. Aha. Uh-huh. I growl with bare satisfaction. And uh, that's all uh, I got. I'll have you all know that I made I made slashing movements with my hands when I narrated that. Perfect. Nice. <laughs> uh, oh, went too far. Whoa, interface. Calm down. <laughs> That's where we are now. All right. Uh, he lashes out with his scimitar at you, growling in pain. That would be an 11 to hit. And a 16 to hit. Uh, the 16 does hit. Okay. Take five slashing damage. All righty. And... 
seeing that the uh, the things are not going in his favor, he jumps away and starts trying to sprint towards the back of the room. I believe both of you will get an attack of opportunity on that. Oh, hell yeah. Unfortunately, uh, he's too fast to uh, for the mall, and even the bear is not able to hit him. Oh. But Rack. he does. One, two, three. He does have to go through the fire. That's, what is the deck save? Uh, yes. And what was the DC on that? I'll just scroll up to it. I believe it was 50? Oh, no, it's only 13. Well, he fails the deck save, and Oosh. two fire damage. So he manages to scorch his feetsies <laughs> as he runs through the fire. <laughs> no, not his Does anyone know uh, how to say get wrecked in bear? I think uh, it's just believe... a lot of long growls. I think it's roar. <laughs> I'll turn to Felix and go, roar. Then I'll turn back to the fire and go, rawr. All right. Felix. Um, all right. Following the advice of my sage bear companion, I'll take a jaunt up in this direction. Oh boy, yep, he's running. And, uh, I'll cool off his feetsies with my ray of frost, because his feetsies look kind of warm. Man. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I found my calling in life. Damn. Way to go, Ice. How would you like to do it? Uh, as he's running away, I cast my ray of frost at his feetsies. <laughs> which freezes his feet to the ground so hard that mid-stride, he sort of, like, carries his momentum and face plants so hard that he cracks his skull. All right. He face plants himself to death <laughs> after the ray of frost freezes his feet in place. <laughs> Color me in purpose. Pretty happy with it. Man, that worked exactly the way I had hoped it would. Yeah, go us. Yes, roar indeed. Hip hooray. Indeed. Hey, uh, is there any way, uh, Val, that we could get this bonfire out of here? Roar. And then, uh, the bonfire goes away. I appreciate it. I... It's a concentration spell, so I just release concentration on the, on keeping that up. Oh, okay. Perfect. So, can I just loot these archers for some arrows real quick? Or see if they have any on them? Roar. Yeah, sure. Uh, give me an investigation to go through their arrows. Absolutely. If I could find investigation, there it is. All right. Um, going through both of their quivers, that, that some of the arrows are pretty well unusable, but you find nine um, that are long enough and Damn. serviceable enough for your use. Nice. That's pretty decent. Uh, what? How does it work with? Uh, since I shot my crossbow bolt at that one guy, can I harvest my own crossbow bolt from him, or is it just? Um, I will let you, I'll let you go through and retrieve your ammunition, but anything that's been, anything that's been fired is going to have like a certain chance of being damaged by either hitting a person or a wall or whatever. Gotcha. So you can go and take a look at it and then just roll like a, just 20 and anything over 10, it's, it's still in good, good enough shape to use. All right, rolling. There you go. Still functional. Hey, look at that. Nice. I think there was some video game I played that did basically the same thing. Like, half of your arrows would were retrievable. I don't remember what it was. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I think Skyrim did something like that. Might have been. Yeah, you can find them in corpses sometimes. Yeah, sometimes, but not all. Not all the time. Yeah, the worst. Oh, and the fire's gone, right? Yeah. I agree, Phil. Roar, indeed. Roar. Alright, shall we continue? I don't see why not. So, oh boy. Um, you step through, you know, the, the space in the wall with little platforms on either side, and behind it you see a small table and a chair, obviously where, you know, guards on duty were chilling, hanging out. And at the south end of the room, uh, you see a closed door. Closed door. Well, it tells me that door will not be closed for much longer. <laughs> Here comes Orsic, opener of doors. Very well acquainted with doors. <laughs> um, first, I want to look at this guy, this this bigger goblin's box. Is there anything of note on it? Uh, okay, roll me an investigation. All right, um, you pick through his pockets, and aside from his rusty scimitar and battered wooden shield, uh, you find three gold coins in his pouch. Oh, sweet. I will take three gold coins and uh, mention to my comrades that they're welcome to the rest. The rest of three minus three? Oh, or welcome to a scimitar and a shield. Uh, yeah, the latter. Oh, I see. Hey, thanks, Worsic. Kinda, uh, I've already got like eight rusty, shitty, unusable scimitars back at home. Uh, I guess one more to the collection couldn't hurt. Did I do that thing, like, you know, if you're trying to, like, entertain a child to make them think you're eating whatever they hand you? <laughs> and you sort of, like, drop it past your mouth? I sort of do that with my backpack in this scimitar. <laughs> I like it. Or six just giggles and claps. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay. Uh, I'm going to just walk up to this door. Does anyone want to do anything else before I potentially cause a wreck? No, well, we, we could try to unlock the. We could persuade the lock open. Uh, the way that Wit usually does. Do we even Always know it. if the door's locked? Yeah. It might not be. Uh, I'm gonna try the door. The door seems to be unlocked. Ew. Oh. Nice! Roar. Or so you're getting so good at that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fancy now. Don't even need me. Um, I'm gonna slowly open the door, like, carefully, just to not draw any unnecessary attention. So, you slowly open the door, and uh, on the other side is a small room with one torch. There's some debris against the walls, nothing really. Of no uh, there appears to be another door at the far end of the room, but nothing's here. Hmm. Oh, you know that's, what? That's I didn't pick suspicious. up my torch. Do we, uh, do you guys want me to light another torch? Why don't you just grab one off the wall? Here, I'll go back and pick it up. Oh, I guess I, I can do that, too. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. Looks like another door. All safe. Roar. I'm glad we keep Lord around for his dialogue in times like this. <laughs> yeah, what a swell guy. Oh? I'm sorry. Not not Lorit. Faldoon. That's what you said. Alright. All right. All right. Force Next to work your magic on that door. Alright, I will carefully open this door. So you're just opening it? Yep. Okay. You swing the door open and, and uh, upon doing so, two goblins on the other their side immediately notice you. Uh, go, go ahead and roll initiative. Oh, uh, yes. All right. 
my greatest skill in my repertoire. My favorite type of room. Breaking records over here. Oh. Oh yeah. Damn, I am just pushing this game to its absolute limits. Yeah, the interface is so slow right now. Yeah. Like Everyone's playing D&D. &D. Uh... I guess so. You gotta do something in the quarantine. Oh man, bring up the river again. Oh. That's unusual. Alright. Wit. Oh boy. Okay, I'm just gonna run up beside Orsic and I can't even see, nor do I want to be the first person in there. So Ooh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, that's right. Charge in there first, buddy. I'll just give you a thumbs up. <laughs> I'm set. <laughs> All right. Four sec. Um, as Wit suggested, I go charging in. There. I expect nothing less. Uh, and I have a lovely friend for these goblins to meet. Ooh, right. That could have been juicy. Uh, that could have been really good. Yeah. <laughs> Should have saved that one. Uh, you, you swing at the goblin, and it manages to duck back out of the way. Uh, your attack misses. All right, that'll end my turn there. All right, rar. 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 Rar indeed. Hmm. <laughs> Mm, R. Uh, am I able to uh, enter this RAR from here? Am I able to go like one, two, three, four, five? Yes. Yeah. Six. Is it Q? Is it shift? What's happening? Dang. It. Okay. Uh, in that case, I will RAR. Okay, um, you, you roar at the goblin, and unfortunately, it manages to dip back out of the way of your... I don't know how, uh, so let's hit it with a roar. Your follow-up roar, however, is much better. How would you like to do it? Ooh. Uh, has anyone ever seen the, the Gus Johnson video of him, like, slamming that laptop into a wall? I guess not. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry. Okay. I, I, yeah. Like, imagine sorry, the camera's just focused on this uh, goblin, and then a bare hand comes from out of frame and just smacks him out of the frame on the other side. That's what happens. <laughs> uh, except, like, imagine it's also humorous. That's what happens to him. Alright. You smash that goblin. Anything else? Uh, I think that's all I got. Okay. The remaining goblin runs up and lashes out at you with his short sword. Nope, I'm sorry, scimitar. That'll be a 15 to hit. It does hit. Take five slashing damage. Well, All right then. And uh, let's see, that was one, two. Having having delivered the, the uh, delivered the damage, he turns and attempts to run for the door on the far side of the room. <laughs> I believe both of you will get an attack of opportunity there. Boy, I hope so. It's happening. It's coming. Here comes the pain train. Building. It's rolling into the station. I can hear the drum rolls. 
Any day now. All right, Bertha. Bertha unfortunately misses. It's trying. Oh, it, it's showing me a thing that says rolling the dice. Dot dot dot. There we go. Oh wow. Yep. Yeah. How would how would you like to do that one? Uh, I just jump on his back as he's running away, and just like rip him to shreds with my claws. You do that. So, you tear into him, destroying him. The room falls quiet. Oh. <laughs> I turn back to all my companions and just, like, wag my tail at them, like... Did, did I do good? <laughs> I didn't even see what happened, except I heard a bunch of carnage. <laughs> And you walk into a bear with bloody paws wagging its tail. <laughs> Just gonna give him a thumbs up. <laughs> Murder bear is best bear. <laughs> Alright, I'd like to um, search around this table and see if there's anything of, of note. Uh, okay, investigation. All right. Um, taking a look at the table, you do find um, a, a greasy, bent, torn deck of cards kind of scattered across the top, as well as two gold coins. Uh, obviously, a game was in progress when you so rudely broke in and interrupted. Uh -huh. uh, all right. I'll just uh, mention to my uh, compatriots, hey, there's some uh, gold over here. Uh, I had some uh, on the last body, so uh, you guys are welcome to. Okay, my, walk away. my pack's kind of heavy with all the torches. Uh, wait, I'll let you take head on this one. Take point on this Rawr. one. Take the lead on this one. Oh, okay. Um, I'm sorry, I really was not listing how much gold is there. Two, 50. Two gold coins. <laughs> two gold coins. <laughs> like the 50 <laughs> that was said with such confidence. Is like, hold up. And a greasy, torn, stained deck of cards, if you're interested in such a thing. I am, you know, believe it or not, I am not. There's just no accounting for taste. Yeah. Orsic realized he forgot his torch. <laughs> I did! <laughs> Had to go back and find it. They just don't stick very well. I keep clicking on Orsic when I want to do my rolls to make sure I do the right roll and not like the torch right. attack. <laughs> Nailed it. Torch attack. Ooh, someone's getting some juicy information. Ooh. Is so bad. <laughs> uh, I think you used the wrong slash. Uh, but like, not only that, there's nothing after it. Did he mute himself again? To, I was trying to see which one it was because I was hoping that it would like give me the you know give me like command error out. Well, yeah, it didn't tell you which one because you did it wrong. It's the question marks. Yeah. Like. <laughs> yeah, I typed in the proper one and it said unrecognized command. You know, this is why. Know. Yeah, this is why I use <laughs> Discord. Would whisper command. Roger. <laughs> you okay? Maybe. A little worried you know about it you. Was, your W just didn't have enough things on it. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a quadruple oh, yeah. U. I actually, actually have to look it up now. <laughs> Whisper. All right. Good to see this room was totally empty when we rolled up to it. Testing this now. See if it actually works. Oh, you have to type 
the question mark, slash, and then a W, then a space, then the person you want to whisper to, and then another space, and then the message. All right, there we go. Now I'm a professional. We're good. Uh-huh. Everyone relax. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm getting whispers from all over the place. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> Okay, who else sent him a whisper? On, uh, Other than what? me, because I definitely did. <laughs> so, on the west side of the room, you find another door. Yeah, Orsic's just been standing here fascinated with... Um, can I listen to the door and like what's behind it? See if I hear anything? Sure, uh, give me a perception check. It's a door. You do not hear anything. All right, I'm convinced, and I open the door. Uh, you attempt to open the door, but it appears... Oh, uh, fancy magic finger lady. Uh, unlock door, please. And I step out of the way. Okay. That's my cue. Does anybody else still have the measuring section from when someone measured? Yes. Kind of... Yeah, it's just kind of permanently stuck there. Okay, I'm just curious. Let me make sure. Oh, I'm okay. I'm... <laughs> there we go. Is it gone? <laughs> Is it gone? Yes. Uh, it's gone. I, just, I just assumed the interface was broken. Oh, so you can make them stay if you just hold shift. Fascinating. Mm. Damn. Oh, the Q thing does work. I'm not crazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my, this is too much power. <laughs> it's space bar. Oh no. Damn it, it's not space bar. Wait, did you, did you lose your lockpick? Um, no, I'm just shenanigans distracted. I don't know how. No, Very no serious either. campaign. Um, yeah. We all have just, like, rulers out, just examining the room. <laughs> <laughs> We're, like, as crime scene investigators. <laughs> it was murder hobos. The whole lot of them. <laughs> it was murder hobos the whole time. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to try and open this, or unlock it, because that's what you do with lockpicks. <laughs> All right. Uh, it takes you a couple seconds, but you are able to persuade the lock into opening with a click. Yes. Oh, Do you also open the door, or do you leave that for someone? I'm sorry, right now I'm taking a stupid snip of the I'm a stupid bear. <laughs> <laughs> and I leave the door opening to Orsic, because he's very well acquainted with doors, and I am very squishy. All right. I'll step aside and just kind of gesture at it grandly. Roar. Uh... And I will nod in appreciation. Thank you for letting Orsic have his uh, door hobby. <laughs> hey, game is so up. Game. <laughs> uh, all right, and I'll open the door. All right. You swing the door open to find another small room uh, with a door in the far. Um, the floor is littered with debris, um, bits of sticks and rocks and. Uh, as you, I assume you step into it. Yep. As you step into it, you do see that there is a barrel uh, in the northern corner. Not for long. Oh, boy. The buddy we oh, call no. her for sakes. She is constantly providing. Uh, I'm going to uh, rip the top off of this barrel and see what's inside. All right. 
you rip the top off of the barrel and find it two thirds full of lukewarm water. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, hey. hey. <laughs> All right, I just kind of caress the barrel gently and say, don't worry, we won't leave you here. And I step away. This is like the goblin bathing chamber. <laughs> All right, next door. I'm going to try to open it. All right, it opens without any fuss. Man, these goblins have stores on lockdown. So, yep, that leads to a small hallway, which leads to yet another door. There. This is Orsic's in... favorite place. These are like some carpenter goblins. <laughs> did my did my mic pick up all that? Something about uh, yeah. an extra eighty gold. Yeah, yeah, it did. Okay, cool. <laughs> Want to make sure yeah. we're on the same page. I think I heard it opened up into another door, and then that was that was the last thing. Yeah, I heard. It, it opened onto a, a small hallway, which the yet another rough door set into the stone wall. Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check. All right, seems seems good to proceed. You don't hear anything. All right, I will try to open the door. All right. The door swings open, revealing a a long, narrow room, uh, somewhat better kept than the the one prior. And at the far side of it, there's a goblin facing away from you, bent over, looking into um, a barrel, going through something in the bottom of the barrel. He does not appear to have noticed you yet. All right. I'll kind of mention to Wit since she can see at least me uh like to let her know there's a goblin on the far side of the room uh i'm gonna go kill it should we shoot him all sneaky peeky like um sure if you want to that sounds Both great do it. you with your crossbow me with my short bow all right i'm gonna line one up all right so you guys are gonna take a shot at the same time oh heck yeah in really awesome poses i assume Absolutely. Like, uh, Charlie's Angels meets, like, the Avengers. Absolutely. Okay, go ahead and give me both of your combat rolls. What's up for your thanks? Alright, brace for impact. And... <laughs> By impact, we mean the wall. <laughs> Red alert! Man, destroyed him. <laughs> if if so... one of them had hit, it would have been enough to kill him. Absolutely <laughs> obliterated. So, not that cool. <laughs> you're only level three. You can't do cool stuff yet. Nope. <laughs> it's just bumbling. This uh, is the price, though. This is like going to be the first part of the montage. <laughs> so, the crossbow bolt whistles over the top of the goblin and stone wall behind him, bouncing clatter, while the arrow funks into the bolt or into the, the boulder <laughs> into the barrel that he's got his head stuck in and he quickly jerks his head up around and sees the two of you and gives a cry of alarm uh everybody go ahead and roll initiative yes it's initiative all right join in the ranks oh, oh what man i am just i'm motoring <laughs> i've got wheels <laughs> just just gradually making your way up there into the average ring. I'm going to hit double digits before you know what happened. <laughs> Is this what it's like to move before somebody in the party? <laughs> All right. Wit. You uh, you were the first to cover for this disastrous incident. Um, I'm I'm gonna try and hit him again with an arrow. 
I don't want to charge in there first. Come on, baby, roll. Nope. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna yep, twiddle my thumbs. <laughs> you launch another arrow, but it whistles mostly past him and bounces off the wall. <sighs> Hearing his cry of alarm, uh, a door along the, the wall of the room bursts open, and two more goblins enter. Oh, oh boy. And He runs across the room up to a pile of barrels alongside the, the doorway that you're entering through and tips several of the barrels over into the path. Well, Doom, it's your turn. Hurrah. One, two, three. Hmm. Oh, oh, this could be bad because, hold on, I'm going to step back here, which is where I began. Because I'm a large creature, am I able to fit into this hallway? I believe you're able to fit into a space that is one size smaller than you are, which this would qualify. Uh, I think you like it's a it's a bit of a squeeze, I believe, is how they how they work it. Okay. Uh, then allow me to look at what a bear's. Oh wow, bears are uh, faster than I thought. Okay. Or roar. Or roar, roar. roar. And is this line of barrels like blocking the door? Um, so the barrels are tipped over in front of it, and it'll take, uh, they'll either provide half cover to creatures that get behind them, or, um, it'll be difficult terrain to climb over. Them. Okay. Hmm. Could I just attempt to, like, body slam the barrels out of the way? You absolutely can, and that is a very bear-like thing. Okay. <laughs> So, give me a strength check to do that. Okie dokie. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of this bear on barrel. Hey. Unskilled strength. <laughs> oh, you know, I had to squeeze through. Well, don't worry, he didn't hurt them. <laughs> oh, thank God. Yeah, there's no violence. Um, so, you slam into the barrels expecting them to be fairly lightweight. Uh, since you saw that goblin move them, but uh, he, he moved them with the, you know, the direction that they wanted to roll already and trying to push them the other way. And they appear to be full of something fairly heavy. So you slam into the stack of them and manage to only push them back a couple of inches. All right, uh, that's about all I got. I'll then try to, like, make myself as small as possible such that, like, my companions can move past me or shoot a uh, projectile past me or something. I'm I'm really torn on that. I'm not sure how to handle that. I don't know either. Since you're gonna have to, I guess I guess since you were able to move move past them past you, uh, there's no other way to rule it. So Felix, you're up. Drum drum drum. Just gonna check out the action going on here. Okay, right, so that's it. Oh boy, that's uh, that's certainly something. And uh, I can't really see a whole lot in there, or probably maneuver very well. Also, I don't really want to. So uh, I'm just gonna chill back here, and I will ready one of my patented rays of frost. Uh, for the first goblin that crosses my field of view. All right. Orstic. Um, hmm. I think I'm going to uh, take a note from the murder bear, and I'm going to try to also charge 
my way through these barrels. All right, give me a strength check. All right, you slam into the barrels and manage to scatter them across the room. How many are here? One. All right. Manage to scatter them across the room and break through. All right, I'm and... just gonna. Can I step over here and attack, or is, does that count as an action? What I just did. Uh, I think anytime you make an ability or skill check, it counts as an action. Am I right there? I, mean, I think sense. so. Uh, I would say yes, me personally. Yeah, so that, that counts as your action breaking through all the barrels. So you have your movement and any bonus. Hmm. Alright, I'm going to use a bonus action. Okay. Uh, for second wind. And I'm going to attack uh, this goblin standing next to me. Alright. Oh, cool, that I can whip. do the reroll. Two-handed weapon fi uh, fighting stuff. Oh, okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Go for it. Alright. It's marginal. Bumps, you up to, uh, bumps you up to eight. How would you like to do it? Alright, after I crash through those barrels, I just kind of uh, take a, a backswing with uh, Big Bertha, and I crack this guy right on the side of his head. He drops. That will end my turn. Okay. Wit, there's a lot of crashing and growling and cracking. Barrels are being thrown out of the way. What you doing? Sounds like a normal day. <laughs> Basically. Okay, I am going to follow the act. I mean, R6 already charged in there, so it's got to be safe, right? Exactly. 100%. He never goes anywhere dangerous. Oh, <laughs> look, goblin. All right, being the wise person I am, I still have my bow, and I will shoot the one that's... I'm sorry, I wasn't looking at the at the right screen. Which one was that? Wow. Um, the further away one. Okay. All right, that does hit. Uh, you slam an arrow into the goblin's shoulder. And it jerks back in pain, but uh, continues to bite. Okie dokie, and then I'm actually going to do something that I totally remembered I've had since level and I've been meaning to use it ever since. But as a bonus action, I'm going to use cunning action. And wait, nope, never mind. I thought dodge was part of it, but it's not. So never you mind. I'm just going to be here sitting down. <laughs> I need to... Disengage is the one that I usually should use, but you know. You know what? We're all there. I've played D&D &D before, I swear. <laughs> uh, pulling his short bow, the one that you just stuck an arrow into, uh, takes a shot at Orsic. Ooh, nat 20. Uh, two. Ooh, and a max roll. Man, this guy's on a roll. Uh, that'll be 14 piercing damage. Sweet Jesus. And then he dips around the corner out of sight. I'm dipping. What a jerk. Oops. It is then the next guy's turn. He swings around here and then lashes out with his scimitar at Orsic. Which will be a 15 to hit. Yes. All right. Follow up attack. Well, that one. Configure. Let's see what yeah, it is. Uh, he's got minus one to his next attack. He is distracted. Let me make a thing for that. Um, but he's going to. He is going to take the disengage action, uh, which he can do as a bonus action as a goblin which gets him to here. And then he's also going to dip. 
I think you can make it to like here. Rawr! <laughs> Rawr. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Rawr. Oh, excuse me. I'm gonna get to here. That's. I cannot turn around because of. Uh, hold on, hold on. We have technology. Boom! To turn around to this guy, and I will attempt to. Nice. Oh! Hmm. Rawr, rawr. I didn't realize that guy was dead. The bear's got a corpse small fetish. <laughs> Six. Hmm. R. You know what? I'm just gonna chill out here in this space because this is as far as I can move. And uh, already a claws attack in case one of these two guys comes at me. Okay. So as you step up into the doorway of that room, it appears to be a kitchen. Uh, there are a few more <laughs> barrels along one fire with a large cast iron pot hanging over it and a table with some ingredients sitting on top of it. Um, but obviously the main focus right now is the two goblins standing near you. Helix! Hmm. Goblins, you say. Yeah. Oops. Move a gnarly 15 feet in this direction. Hmm. Still can't uh, see a whole lot. On the action front. So I think I'll just sort of scuttle over here, kick some of these barrels out of my way. Not like violently, but more like a nudge with my foot. And, uh, I'm gonna, like, settle right into here, I think. Let me, let me make sure that was all legal. Perfect. Alright, and uh, I'm just gonna chill here. All right. Once again, readying a ray of frost in case something comes in. Okay. Orsic. Ow. All right. I think I might be able to make it. I believe in you. What he means is, rawr. It's like you by the bear, right? Rawr. Uh, I didn't count. Sure. Uh, I did, and as long as I can squeeze by, then I, I I'm good. As long as Jacob is Roar of agreement. Murder! Alright, which one is that at? Uh, the one to Fang East. Alright, uh, how would you like to do it? Uh, as I come charging over the murder bear, uh, I just slam down with my maul, turn him into a, a puddle. Alright. You slam your maul down on top of his head, collapse it down into his shoulders, and the entire body just folds to the floor with a squish. Force of cheers and excitement, and that will end my turn. You don't. Oh, that's right, you've only got one attack still. Yeah, I'm still waiting. I know. Is that next? Uh, still baby. This! I know. Hey! Uh, Wit, you're up. Oh. And I run behind the murder bear. Murder bear. With these murder mittens. Trademarked. Squeeze up by the murder bear. And I'm gonna stab this guy. Roar. Do it. Kind of jerk. Or, you know, hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> Gently tickle him with your rapier. Is he uncomfortable, at least? <laughs> He's marginally uncomfortable with the, the proximity of your sharp object to him. Okay, I like that. As long as I made him uncomfortable. <laughs> you, you did. Alright. It is now his turn. And now that you're here making him uncomfortable, he's in favor. That's going to be like a 7 to hit. That's not going anywhere. Ha-ha! <laughs> uh, well, that's getting even lower. Okay, he's not doing so hard about <laughs> He's, like, nudging your hand out of the way. Like, uh, could you please? 
So Damn it. Now yeah. Stop, you're... guys. Stop. Now the two of you are just vaguely waving swords in each other's direction, but not actually hitting. <laughs> like when people do that slap fighting thing where they both are looking away. Yeah. Back. <laughs> you know, like that. Rawr. <laughs> Rawr. Let's try to rar this. Regrettably, my rars are in my rar. Oh wait, never mind. I mean, uh, <coughs> uh, rar. You go up to right about here. Boogie, whoops. Boogie on over to here. Do a 180 no scope on this guy, and uh, give him a little the old rar. All right. Can you give me another attack roll to, uh, for the advantage? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. No, 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 uh, he said attack roll, not damage. <laughs> right. You lash out with your claws, but the goblin is able to dodge you. What a chump. In that case, with multi-attack, I can roar once again. Uh, that time does much better. Oh, Robert. So you chomp down on his shoulder uh, and give him a good shake. All right, and uh, that's all I got. Okay, Felix. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Hey yo, what's happening in here? Oh boy. Uh, what's this guy's problem? Just come down with a severe case of death. Oh, that one. I don't know. Right. That one's still alive. Yeah, Somehow. Okay. I'll take one more step into the door. Oh, boy. Uh, you know what? It, it kind of looks like you guys have it sorted here. I don't really want to accidentally hit someone with a stray spell, so I'm just going to post up and end my turn. You know what? I'm going to also take one step back. I'm good. Alright. Force it. Alright. Let's see. Time for Bertha. Oh, hello. That's not How terrible. would you like to do it? <laughs> uh, I'll just swing, hit, it, hit him right in the neck, kind of crack his neck down to inches of nothing. Skin and flaps. Uh, let him collapse. All right, he collapses to the floor. Oh man, you knocked his flaps off. <laughs> Turned him into dust. So, uh, you find yourselves in the kitchen, um, having barreled your way ho, 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 <laughs> through the storeroom in the meantime. Sweet. So, uh, what are in those barrels, anyway? That's a good One question. Way to find I, out. I feel like I owe them all an apology. No, we're also, the only ones everybody, everybody add 800 experience to your character sheet for all the goblins you've slain thus far. Oh, yeah. Thank I had to go back and total them all. What's that put you guys at? 2025? Uh, 2025. Great year for wine, I heard. Great year. <laughs> Hopefully we'll be out of quarantine by then. Hopefully. So, yeah, it's all you guys again. Okay, I'll check this guy's corpse for uh, this bigger guy for anything noteworthy. Okay. Uh, go ahead and give me an investigation, and while he does that, is anybody else into any? Uh, I'll be checking out these barrels up here. Okay. Orsic, you find two gold, as well as a small folding knife. And his, you know, rusty uh, weapon. And then, uh, Felix, give me the investigation for the barrels. I should have been dead. Oh man, I'll keep it. Consistency is key. 
So mm -hmm. going through the barrels, you find that most of them seem to be full of uh, food stores. Um, there's some some salted meat, some um, like fruit that's getting a little bit towards spoiled, but still reasonably good. Uh, one of them has some bread in it. Hey, Orsic, you want some more of that salted meat you like so much? Uh, I won't ever turn down salted meat. We've got a whole bunch of it in here. I don't want to carry another barrel, so we'll just kind of note that if we ever need barrels, we can come back. <laughs> it's just a day's ride east of <laughs> town. Uh, but I have three days worth of salted pork ration. Um, can I take up to ten with? So seven more. Um, I need to. I guess I need to actually, for once, use the weight. Nah. Uh, never done that before. Let me look at a character sheet real quick. Alright. Um, so your carrying max is already calculated based on your strength at 210. And we don't have everything else documented yet. Um, oh, excuse me. Yeah, we'd have to go back and add all the weights in. I'm not gonna mess with it now, but sure, you can you can take up you can take up to ten. Sweet. Noise. And I'll uh for for stuff like that, I, I I'm gonna try to start tracking weight, um, but I don't want to mess with it right now. We can set up through the week before next session or early next session. Okay. I'm not worried about stuff like the little folding knife and you know trinkets like that, but. When we're getting right you know, when we're having to manage resources and carry 40 torches to be able to make this mm -hmm. journey and sure. you know, to add up. Mm -hmm. that's fair all right Sorry. i think i thank you for your your salted meat and i'm going to uh, no step back problem. and i meant to do this earlier but i apologize speaking of torches in one of the barrels you find a pile of 12 torches yeah. Yay! Does so anyone mind if I just put those right back in the old backpack? Nope. Beautiful. All you. <clears throat> so, uh, in the kitchen, there is an unidentified stew of some sort bubbling on the pot over the fire, and uh, there's uh, some, a couple of utensils, a wooden spoon, and a, a, a rusty knife sitting on the table. No thanks. Mm. You know, uh, I'd rather have the salted meats in the barrel, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. Yeah, same here. Maybe some of the fruit that's almost expired. Not to disparage goblin stew, but it kind of smells horrible. Alright. Uh, so there is an open doorway leading to a closed door down at the far end, but I think this is probably a good stopping point for tea. Yeah, I agree. Alright. Yeah. Sounds good to me. You have made some progress into the early layers of the uh, Goblin Dungeon. Mm. Oh, early. early. Oh, we're almost done. Yeah, we are. I mean, uh, we are. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, go team. I, I particularly team. enjoyed the egg decorating <laughs> contest. That was the, <laughs> the contest where everybody Sorry, won. That's gonna... We that's all gonna won. We're all winners. <laughs> Glad all of us took that so seriously. There were real dragon eggs, okay? It said so on the Did label. It, it's true. <laughs> real. Yeah. Not allowed to, to mislabel them. The USDA has a field day over that. Nope. <laughs> so, uh, nope. Good, good session, guys. Um, at 2250, um, I think by the time you get done with this, you should you should pretty easily be up to level four, but you definitely will not make level five by the end of this dungeon. Okay. Did you say we're at twenty two fifty for XP? I thought it was twenty twenty five. Twenty twenty five. I got twenty twenty five. I actually got eight thousand. Yeah, twenty twenty five. I think your guys' math might be wrong. I thought I got twenty twenty fifty. That's a, that I'm sounds more right. That's, yeah. That sounds more accurate. I think that would put you at level between 16 and 17. That seems reasonable. Oof. Sorry, everyone. I'm yeah. just outpacing you. 
You've been going out and, you know, killing enemies without yeah. finding that XP. He's been yeah. paying... Farming killing rats. everything. <laughs> He's been paying random townspeople for acts that they didn't actually commit. <laughs> so, no, good session. Um, I think we're well on the way to... Uh, <laughs> we're getting somewhere. Yeah. Despite all the egg drawing, we're actually getting somewhere. Hey, that was important lore, okay? <laughs> I'll gladly draw eggs with you guys any day. Any day. It's gonna be Easter in two weeks. We may have to do <laughs> this again. <laughs> oh my god. So how'd you celebrate Easter? Well, I virtually decorated eggs with some friends. No, 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 you're thinking about this all wrong. Well, we had two dozen eggs. Twenty of them were painted like regular Easter eggs. Four of them, I don't know what the fuck was going on. <laughs> They had dragon scales. One of them just had, like, they took a pencil and wrote on it. <laughs> dragon egg. <laughs> Real. Uh, Elizabeth and I were talking about that, what we were, we're going to do for Easter. I don't know. We just leave the chickens loose for, like, a week beforehand, and then we have our own egg hunt? Yes. Oh, that'd be funny. Very much yes. Uh, so, but also anyway, no. Right. We'd lose all the chickens. They'd, they'd get eaten yeah. by something. Yeah. Oh, poor chickens. Anyway, um, I'm available next week. Uh, pretty sure that's that's just the standing order for a while. For yeah, me, I don't know. My schedule seems pretty busy. You know, right. with all the quarantine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, well, I should be here. Uh, we'll see with work and everything. I don't think it should interfere, but uh, yeah. All right. Well, don't have anything else to do. <laughs> right. <laughs> Like, mm -hmm. it's a hard this is I, yeah, I'm, really, I'm really glad to have been doing this because it gives me a nice break and it gives Elizabeth. Oh, a me break too. Around me. <laughs> I really needed it today. I, I was like, man, I'm I, as somebody who's like regularly self isolates and basically lives my life <laughs> like this. It's kind of like I hate not being able to go out. All right. Yeah. It's like now that I don't even have the yeah. choice to not do it. Like I wouldn't do it anyway, but now that I actually can't, I'm like, damn it, I would have done something today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like I like to have the option to not go outside, but it, it being forced on me kind of stinks. Yep. Mm. Alright. Well, we've always got this right. at least. Yeah, thank, yeah. thank God. I will see There's you guys no next. Everybody stay safe out there and don't mm -hmm. uh, don't make out with strangers or lick doorknobs. Darn Damn it! My plans. Yeah. The two things don't I do worry, so I am frequently. I'm 100 safe from it. <laughs> yeah. I guess I'll be free for the next month. <laughs> <laughs> right. See you later. Bye. Bye. Take care, everyone. Bye. You will.